The seven star Charizard Terror Raid event has now finished. We have another one coming up starting on the 16th of December, but there has already been another Terror Raid event announced for this coming weekend. So we're going to have a look at all the details for that event, as well as give you some Pokemon ideas for how you can go into this one to make it a little bit easier. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. So it was announced earlier on today that we do have a brand Brand new terror raid event happening this weekend it is going to be starting on the 9th of december so that would be friday i presume that it's going to be starting around the same times as the charizard raid event started last week so 7 p.m eastern time midnight over here greenwich mean time and, and then you can translate that into your own time zone wherever else you are in the world but we will confirm those times and dates as soon as we do get more information on this event the event itself will be running just over the weekend so just like the charizard event it will be running from friday through to sunday and it is gonna be four and five star terror raids for terra steel type salamence and ghost type tyranitar now these two pokemon are version exclusives you are going to be able to get them though in the alternative copy of your game so if you are wanting to get salamence in your copy of scarlet this is a good opportunity to get it especially with that steel terra type and vice versa for you violet players who can get tyranitar with that ghost typing as well so it's going to be a pretty nice event hopefully it has some good item drops with it obviously we'll know more information closer to the time but they aren't going to be seven star raids they're going to be four and five star raids so max level they're going to be is around 75 making them a lot easier than the charizard seven star raid to help you prepare for this event going into it a little bit like we did with the charizard event we are going to have a look at some pokemon options that you can use that are going to be probably quite good to go in against and defeat these pokemon in solo raids obviously you can go online and join friends to make them a lot easier but if you're wanting to just do this on your own these are some options that we've got the first one is obviously iron hands we've covered this on the channel before great option for soloing five and six star terror raids these are only going to be five star raids so not as hard as the six ones if you want to check out all the details with iron hands it'll be linked up in the top right hand corner now the next option is iron valiant the fairy and fighting type pokemon it is going to be accessible only in the post game in area zero in pokemon violet so you have to be in pokemon violet to get this pokemon or have a friend that will trade you or allow you to go and play co-op and get this for yourself from pokemon scarlet you want the fighting terror type specifically against salamence because you're going to hit it for hard damage obviously with it being a steel type you don't want to have the fairy terror type and give yourself a little bit of a harder time and a bigger weakness uh, we've given the expert belt as an option on there and then we've got the move set of sword stance misty terrain drain punch and close combat so the sword stance is to help you set up you're going to have the expert belt to just give you a bit of extra power and then the drain punch will allow you to get recovery through hitting the salamence once you're boosted up and um, we've just maximized the evs here just hp and attack so you've got a bit more staying power when you're going up against this raid but this one shouldn't be too difficult to go up against and then the next option is harry yama which is just something that everyone's going to have access to in their games and i feel like a really good option against the salamence in particular again you're really only going to have to worry about flying type threats but because harry yama is so bulky anyway it's really going to be able to take those quite well so you shouldn't have to worry too too much then you've got the citrus berry on it again fighting terror type as well we're gonna have an adam in nature uh, maxing out hp and attack with the close combat drain punch earthquake and belly drum so earthquake just gives you a different option to hit the salamence with as well so the salamence is a steel type and the tyranitar that you'll be going up is against a ghost type terror type so it will be a little bit different you're not going to be able to bring these fighting type pokemon to the tyranitar battles you're going to have to have different options now being a ghost type it is going to be susceptible to dark type attack so probably your best option and knowing what tyranitar's normal set runs it's going to be rock type attacks it's going to be dark type attacks it may have ground type attacks as well on the, the rare occasion it might have something like superpower we don't know i wouldn't imagine it does but that you can't discount anything at the moment now a good option against tyranitar is obviously going to be a regular tyranitar because of that dark typing you're going to want the dark terror type on it i've give this one leftovers uh, I do need to level it to 100, so I would advise getting it to level 100. You want to EV it in HP and attack. 
give it the adamant nature and then i've went for this move set which is rock slide crunch iron defense and dragon dance so you've got the option to boost your defense make sure that you're not taking too much damage there which allows then the leftovers to give you that recovery and also dragon dance giving you the option to boost your attack and your speed as well which is going to be a big plus in these terra fights and primarily you're going to be using crunch as your main attacking option there so and to get dragon dance on the tyranitar you want to look for something like salamence like roaring moon or another pokemon that learns dragon dance and then give your tyranitar the mirror herb make sure it forgets a move and then set up a picnic with that pokemon with dragon dance and then it will be transferred onto tyranitar so it does get that it is an egg move just to make you aware and the next option to go up against tyranitar is going to be hydreigon if it does have a grand type attack which it may do then you're going to have levitate you're not going to worry about it with hydreigon you're not really going to worry too much about any of the dog type attacks or potentially ghost type attacks that it will throw out you especially having that dark terror type on here we've went for the shell bell because otherwise hydragon struggles with any sort of recovery and the move set we've went for is reflect nasty plot dragon pulse and dark pulse you're primarily going to be using dark pulse against this tyranitar and just getting your nasty pop boosts up reflect just gives a little bit of longevity against what predominantly will be more physical attacker as well so these are a few of your options again with the hydragon we've maxed out hp just because it gives us a bit more staying power and that special attack as well so that is all of the pokemon that i've prepared and i think probably the ones that i'll be relying on mostly will be the hydragon and probably iron Hand for the salamence but I'm, I've got a few options now that I can change and play around with. I think the Tyranitar against Tyranitar could be quite fun. And also, it'll be just nice to see what options work going into it. But that is all we're covering today. We've got that event that is happening this weekend. And then the following event after that, we'll have that seven-star Charizard event happening once again. Unfortunately, if you have caught that Charizard already and taken part in that event this past weekend, you're not going to be able to catch it again. It is one copy of that seven-star Charizard per save file so if you've caught it you've caught it but you can still take part in it and take advantage of those great item drops it's a great event coming up two pseudo legendaries that are exclusive to each game that you're going to be able to get in the opposite game so it's a great opportunity to get these pokemon and hopefully like i say we'll get some good item drops with these as well i'm praying for herba mystica and those five star raids that would be amazing but we'll see what happens hope you found today's video useful friends if you have leave a like do subscribe to the channel if you're new and i will see you all for another video very soon so until then take care bye bye